A consumer watchdog group claims Californians are not getting back the money they're entitled to for recycling. In a new report, the group states that consumers are being scammed by grocery chains, trash collectors, and beverage distributors. News 8's Heather Hope is live in Miramar at the Recycling Center tonight with a look at the issue. Heather? And in that report, the Watchdog Consumer Report claims that of the $1.5 billion that when people recycle from cans to bottles, that we're leaving close to $732 million of that behind. And they're also saying that with record decline of across the state from recycling centers, but still the city says with centers like here in Miramar, that they have shown no signs of stopping. $200 million of lost nickels and dimes for the recycling program that came from the consumers that beverage dealers never reported. Calling out the state's recycling system, saying Californians are being ripped off. Consumer Watchdog President Jamie Court held a press conference in Los Angeles unveiling his new report. Consumers are losing, the environment is losing. The report states although Californians pay a nickel for every can or bottle they buy, we only get half the nickel back on average. Even though the state says there is a 75 percent redemption rate, Consumer watchdogs found that the real money that goes back into consumers' pockets is closer to 50%. What's going on is these centers close as people get frustrated. They put all of their empties in the trash. Report author Lisa Tucker said San Diego has suffered the third biggest loss of recycling centers between 2012 and 2017 from 143 to 103, serving over 32,000 people. But locally, one recycling center in Scripps Ranch says business has been steady. Then at the largest in the city, the Allen Company shows no signs of slowing. The city of San Diego stated there has not been any decrease in the amount of recyclables collected for the city's curbside collection service and no decrease of recycling facilities within San Diego over the past couple years. And the report also went on to say that stores like Vons, Albertsons, and Walmart have not been serving the majority of the population with the convenience of having a recycling center next to their grocery store. And stores like Walmart have been undercounting the deposits received. But still, they say the State Department Cal Recycle has never fined Walmart. For a full listing of that report, you can go to our website at cbs8.com. Just click on the hot button. Back to you. Thanks, Heather.